Okay, because people are going to be curious, how was your first night in the van? <laughs> <laughs> This is my morning. This is me. This is every morning. You wake up and then Simon goes, "Here's the camera." Simon tweets the thing in your face. <laughs> I love. Love. <laughs> I don't like mornings. Yeah. You said it was pretty comfy though, eh? It is comfy. Yeah. It is really comfy. Well, I mean, you only got so much like <laughs> you're not really hey. you're doing all right. Yeah, I was totally like all spread out. I was like, yes. <laughs> it's nice to be couch, little. On our couch, yeah. As yeah, a... I'm tiny. <laughs> well, I think it's definitely comfier for one person than for two. Yeah. I, I, like, I almost rolled off. I woke up with, like, my face, like, looking at Champ. And I was like, oh, let's go back in the corner. <laughs> Just made some breakfast. Yes. And we're sitting here watching the Kirsten Dernst um, Fair Company's, um, documentary that we've been working on with her for like three months, two months. How cool is it to see our work kind of edited by somebody else and put together and kind of like commented on by somebody else? It's interesting because it's like six months of video and she's like splicing them all together so we're not seeing them in sequential order, we're seeing them all together sort of as a whole. She's so like a much better editor than I am. It'll be interesting to see so how like the story comes out by the end of it. Yeah, we're only halfway through. We've been here for a while. It's really it's, long. Yeah, it's still weird to hear, to listen to myself talk. Shelby had to go to the bathroom, so she's going to the Starbucks, and the guy's totally gonna talk to her. That's how it goes, man. Everyone's curious. They see the solar panel, they get excited. Oh, don't get me, don't get me, don't. Don't. Okay, don't bark. Where are you guys from? <laughs> so we're usually good sports about like people wanting to tour the van and stuff. I mean, we're pretty excited to meet people who are excited about our livestock because we have the misfortune of meeting some people who aren't, so it's refreshing to meet people who are excited about it. <laughs> this guy not only wants to tour our van, he also wants to ask us for money. <laughs> like, we had to pay for a coffee for him. Well, we didn't have to, but Shelby's got that. She's always got to give people who ask money money. If you ask Shelby, she'll always give you something. Just so you know. <laughs> Why is it that you always give people money when they ask? I don't always give people money. Shall I just... <laughs> well, I feel like when there's travelers who are down on their luck, that could easily be us someday. We could be stuck on the side of the road and we could not have enough money for gas and someone could help us. So, Paying it giving forward. someone a dollar is not going to hurt me. was the greatest cup of espresso I've ever had. It had like three times the amount of flavor I'm used to tasting. I couldn't believe that thing. Coffee perfectionist here, man. It was awesome. Every once in a while I love treating myself to some coffee perfectionist work. Apparently the saying goes, keep Austin weird. Yeah. But I thought, I thought that was a Portland, Oregon thing. Hmm. Maybe Austin's like the original weird and Portland's like the new weird. Yeah, they seem to have more rep on the weird. Shawarma. Yeah, there's a few. Th we miss pho and we miss uh, miss shawarma. Oh, miss shawarma. Ottawa miss doesn't. some good cheap pizza. But we're gonna try some of the street food here in Austin, and hopefully, maybe we'll learn something new about Austin food. Yeah. Burger has candied jalapenos. I'm having a really good day. It's yours. <laughs> Shelby, how's your burger?
Why do you always torture yourself by going to these it's bike shops? It's only $4,000. It's fine. It's fine. It's too big. <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> oh, go God. Home. He's a cowboy. <laughs> it's all his Texas biking. Shelby, you have little, little, little babies in your family, right? Yes. <laughs> Shelby is, you know, Shelby doesn't care. <laughs> Shelby doesn't care. It looks like a Minecraft bike or something. That's a shirt for me, for sure. That is a shirt for you. <laughs> Sorry. Is this me? Yeah. How much is it? You. It's just $85 American. Oh, just, man. I brought one with not... me. Somebody come We heard about these springs in downtown Austin. And uh, it's really warm today, so we're looking for a nice cold dip. went to the Barton Springs in Austin. It's in the middle of this big park, kind of in the middle of the city. And I don't know a lot of the details about it, but it's a natural sort of spring that they've made a pool out of. And how did you like it? Um, it was cold. <laughs> I, uh, we've been going to a lot of hot springs. So after that, it was very cold. And baby, do you, eh? Yeah, and at first I did not think I was gonna get in. But then I did, and it was nice. It was refreshing, but it took a while to get in. You're so brave. I know. Now my hair is one big giant knot. But it's so but refreshing. It cool. It's so nice, so relaxing. I loved it. And you have oh, and here's a tip: you have to pay to get in in the summer, but in the winter you don't have to pay to get in. Simon? Are you okay? The little oven that works, the little um, setup I have, it's not too bad. But uh, it's definitely not like an oven cooked pizza, it's different. It's still really good though. Good. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't like, it doesn't do the tops, like golden the top of the cheese and stuff the same way. So we'll have to figure that out eventually. Okay. Uh, we are going to White Horse Tavern, I believe it's called, or bar, and uh, they have live music there every Monday night, and it's, I believe it's free cover, so we're going to go get some drinks, and apparently there's a dance floor, and there's live music, so this is going to be a real Austin experience. <laughs> <laughs> 